Emerson and welcome to our special Oscar show. Today is Thursday, February 24th. On today's show, we will be going live from CNN's LA Bureau and checking in with my co-host, Anna Ritas Rodriguez, who will be covering the 83rd annual Academy Awards. And for the first time in Good Morning Emerson's history, we'll be going live from the red carpet via broadband. Hey everybody, I am Terry Stackhouse. And I'm Pat Lambert, and thank you for tuning in for our Oscar special. We are going to start off by going live from L.A., where GME's very own Anna Ritas Rodriguez is in the CNN studio with WEBN's Kayla Harity, who both arrived yesterday in L.A. to cover the Oscars. Ladies, how are we feeling this morning? Good morning, guys. Good morning. We're very energized. Very energized. It's very early out in L.A., but we're very excited to start our trip and report Sunday from the red carpet. It's great to hear that. Now, Anna Ritas, tell me exactly what are you going to be doing on this trip? I will be co-hosting the Oscar special with Kayla. But aside from shooting our show Sunday from the red carpet, which is probably the most exciting part of our trip, we will be interviewing celebrities throughout the week. Later on this morning, I will be interviewing Wolfgang Puck. And you, know, you guys know I'm a big foodie, so I'm <laughs> looking forward to that. And Kayla, I know you play a pretty big role in organizing this trip. Tell me exactly what your role is. Well, I am the executive producer of this all-access Oscars special. So from anywhere from scheduling interviews to booking rental cars to booking our hotels, I basically cover it all. Um, it's a little bit crazy. We have a crew of 11, so I have to make sure I know where everyone is at all times of the day. Mm -hmm. Now, now, Kayla, WEBN has made the Oscars coverage production an annual event. For our viewers who haven't seen your programs in the past, what exactly is the WEBN Oscars special? Well, this year our show is titled the All Access Oscars Special, and it's a 30-minute show where we focus on anything Oscar-related. Our first segment is about the preparations for the Oscars. So, like Anna Ritas said, we interview Wolfgang Puck, the Academy chef. Cheryl Chiquetto, she's the Governor's Ball event planner. And then we kick it off to our new segment, which I'm really excited about. It's about all the Boston-based movies who are nominated for films. So we're going to be talking to actresses, producers, actors from The Fighter, The Social Network, and The Town. And Kayla, you're the executive producer on this project. With all the different elements and, and people involved in this special, you have to feel kind of like it's your own Hollywood production. What goes into preparing for this week and uh, for the show? Well, it's months of preparation. I was associate producer last year on the Oscars trip, so ever since that day, I have been planning what I want to do for this year's. So, it starts out with credentials. WEBN applies for credentials just like other any other news outlet. And once we hear back, that's when the planning begins. We start contacting interviews months in advance, and we set those up, although sometimes our interviews are set up hours in advance, maybe mm -hmm. even minutes. Yes, for sure. Um, wow. So, besides that, once we get to LA, it's one-on-one -on -one interviews with all the, all the professionals, industry professionals, and from there we put together our half-hour show, and that's, that's what happens. Well, congratulations. And Anna Ritas, we can talk about professionalism all day, but we're all at least somewhat awestruck by the Oscars. What about this opportunity excites you the most? What excites me the most is being on the red carpet. I, I've never done an event of this magnitude, so that's what excites me the most. But to be honest, we are here as working professionals. We, we are expected to turn in our stories. We are reporting on deadline. So I think that's what's most exciting is that we're going and going all the time trying to make our deadline and make the best out of, out of this trip and this experience. Mm -hmm. And Kayla, every year you're talking to people in high places for this show. Who have you met in the past and who are you going to be meeting this week? Each year we always interview the Academy Board of Governors, Henry Winkler. So that's really exciting. We get to go to his house. We're actually doing that in a few hours today. Um, and we always interview Wolfgang Puck. He's really exciting. And Ernest will be stirring some stuff up in the kitchen. And this year, a couple of our new interviews, which I am so excited about, is the Academy President, Tom Sherrick. Mm -hmm. And one of my favorite movies of the year is The Social Network. So we scored an interview with one of the actors, Josh Pence. Very cool. Wow. Now, Kayla, we've talked about the different pre-production elements uh, that you've already gone into a little bit, but you know, it's a whole different ball game when you're actually out there. A lot of different things are happening at once. Tell me, what different kind of stories are your reporters looking to tell for this special? Well, our reporters are covering anything from Wolfgang to Hollywood reporters. 
one of our most exciting stories is doing an, a package on the special effects. So we have demonstrations where our, our reporters will go in and learn how to make special effects for some of these big movies. Um, we speak with Matt Corgan, he's one of the special effects technicians, and he did the special effects for True Grit, which is also nominated for mm -hmm. a picture. Yep. So, and one of the things which is the best part of our show is Henry Winkler. He Certainly. has been with us for so many years, giving us interviews. We are so grateful for that. And he is on uh, the board of governors for the Oscars, and he is an Emerson alum, so getting to meet him will be very exciting. Mm -hmm. And also, the press room, that's my favorite part. You get to see all the winners, all the stars, and hopefully you get the question that you want to ask them. Of course. That's well, amazing. Thank you so much for, uh, for joining us this morning, Anderis and Kayla. Um, we cannot wait to see WEBN's Oscar show. Anderis, we will come back to you in a moment, but right now we are going to go down to the red carpet where WEBN's Justine Frostad is live via broadband. Justine, what's the scene down there? Good morning, Emerson, all the way from Hollywood. I'm here. People are already working hard to prepare the red carpet for the Academy Awards. Hollywood's biggest and brightest stars will be walking this red carpet come Sunday, so there's nothing last minute about the preparation. I've been looking into what exactly is being done to set the scene for Sunday. Take a look. Good morning, Emerson. I'm Justine Frostad coming to you from the Kodak Theater in Hollywood. On Sunday, this carpet will be full of Hollywood heavyweights, but today it's full of tourists snapping pictures and people preparing for the big day. People here are hard at work preparing for Oscar Sunday. Behind me you can see and probably hear people putting the finishing touches on the tent. There's also plastic covering the red carpet to keep it safe for the big day. Behind me are the bleachers where hundreds of screaming fans, affectionately dubbed the bleacher creatures, will sit Sunday to cheer on their favorite celebrities. These bleachers are where different media organizations like ourselves will be interviewing the stars as they stroll down the red carpet. Oscar nominees will arrive at their dates on Sunday, but really, everyone wants to go home with Oscar. From Hollywood, I'm Justine Frostad for Good Morning Emerson. With only three more days to go until the Oscars, it's definitely crunch time. There's lots more work to be done, but I'm sure the results will dazzle us come Sunday. Reporting live from the red carpet, I'm Justine Frostad. Back to you, Terry and Pat. Thank you, Justine. We are now going to toss it back over to the CNN LA studios, where Ann Rittis is now joined by GME's senior producer, Zach Cousin. Zach, how are you feeling this morning, buddy? Terry, I'm feeling great, man. I miss you out here. I miss, I miss you back here. Now, <laughs> Zach, last year we had the chance to cover the Oscars, but it's a whole new year, and you did not have to win a contest to get out there this time around. You've lost the rookie jitters. How has your perspective changed in getting to be a part of this again? Well, yeah, Terry, I mean, that's a huge part of it. You know, last year we came here, we won the contest, and it was kind of just like we're here in L.A., this is the first time I've been, and we're just surrounded by so much. It was a little overwhelming. I was all excited. I felt like a kid at Disney World, as you like to say. <laughs> um, but now, you know, it's <laughs> we're here, we're working professionals now. We're here representing WEBN, and it's... Not so much I'm blown away by everything I'm surrounded by. It's I really want to, you know, do the most professional work that I can. So I'm not a college student anymore. I'm a working professional. And that's a huge, huge difference for me. Certainly. And it, with that different mentality, what are you looking to change in your approach this time around? I'm just looking to really improve upon my skills as a photographer. Um, I was actually looking at our footage from uh, last year. And I was really disappointed in myself, to be honest. But, um, you know, I've got another year under my belt, and I'm really just looking to push it to the next level. Now, Anna Ritis, uh, I know I've seen your dress. And now that you're out in sunny Los Angeles and the show is just a few days away, how are you preparing? Do you even have time to tan and exfoliate? 
<laughs> no, what, tanning? What is that? <laughs> we are here, as soon as, we got off the plane yesterday, our plane was delayed, and as soon as we got into the hotel, we had 10 minutes to change, and we were out the door. We didn't go to bed until, like, most of us till one o'clock in the morning last night. We are working every day, every minute of the day, and if you want to check out our stories, since we are turning them around so quickly, log on to webn.tv later on in the day, and you'll be able to check out my interview with Wolfgang Puck. This is real time, so we're working. That's amazing. We're following the tweets and everything. We look forward to the coverage. Well, thanks to all of our friends over at the CNN studios for taking the time to talk to us this morning. We will let you go back to bed since you guys got up pretty early this morning. I know that uh, you're going to be busy for the next no, few days. we're working. No sleep for us. <laughs> Have a great trip, and we'll see you all when you get home. It is now time Thank to take you. our Bye, first commercial break, but when we come back, we will be going live again from the red carpet. And we'll be discuss discussing and debating our picks. Stay tuned. Can't wait for that. Welcome back to Good Morning Emerson's Oscar special show. We're now going to toss it back out to LA where WEBN's Tori Berglund is live on the red carpet via broadband. Tori, tell us a little.